Today I'm going to be talking about some basic gear to bring out when you start spear fishing. Okay. Uh, so first things first, this little mat right here, it's definitely not necessary but it's nice to have when you're changing, you just lay it down, undress, well make sure you have a towel wrapped around or have a changing robe, undress, get into your wetsuit, easy peasy. So the next thing is a good pair of fins. So myself and my buddy John, we actually started off with the uh, what were they called? What are the what are the the rocket fins? So those were just very bulky and very uh, inefficient fins for diving. So you should invest and get an actual pair of fins. So. With the fins, definitely want some booties because if not, then your feet are just going to get calluses and you're going to, or I should say blisters and then calluses. Next thing, want a good pair of gloves and the reason for this is you're going to be touching a lot of rocks and maybe even some coral. but. Try not to touch the coral. The other thing too is if you're catching lobster and they have those big old spines on them, um, that's not fun to grab barehanded. One of the most important things is a mask and your snorkel. And I will do a video on how to prep your mask so that it doesn't fog up. Another good thing to have when you guys are diving is to use a, a spray and we have a mixture of baby shampoo and water and that works really well to keep, uh, keep the fog out. Next thing, an important thing to have, actually a very important thing to have is a knife and some people carry two knives some people carry one knife but you know it's really about in case you get caught on a line or stuck in some seaweed or really just anything and also you want to um, make sure to uh, to efficiently and quickly kill your fish so that they're not suffering um, so yeah having a sharp knife is very important Pretty obvious thing to have right here, but um, spear gun. So the way I have it set up, especially for open ocean spearing, so I have it set up where I have my spear gun uh, connected to some line, connected to my buoy, and then on my buoy I have my stringer. Now you can actually make your own stringer out of monofilament, but we'll get into that a little later. Uh, so this is my basic setup for open ocean spear fishing, and even in the bays that I go near or go in. Next thing is a weight belt. Um, this one is very nifty because the if you have like a clip-on belt, those are very hard to undo, especially underwater or if you're in a tight squeeze. Whereas with these ones, it's just so simple to pull, let go, and it drops. And you also want to make sure that, uh, you know, you know wear, wear some bright colors too, so that when you're spearing with a, a buddy, that they can see you. Um, it, just, it just helps for visibility and making sure everyone's safe. So depending what kind of wetsuit you have, I have an open cell wetsuit and what that means is that the rubber is exposed inside of the wetsuit. I'll get into that when I show you guys, but uh, having some hair conditioner helps me slip in the wetsuit. Um, jug of water, so 
this is just nice to rinse your gear off after or drink or help you slip into your wetsuit. Now, so the wetsuit I have is a Epsilon 5, five mil wetsuit. It's a two piece, so um, when I meant open cell, I mean that everything inside here all that rubber is exposed so if I was just to slip this on myself right now it would be extremely hard so we lube it up with some um, hair conditioner and some water and I will make a video on how I do that but yep so there's that top piece and then here is the bottom piece got padding for your legs and typically what you'll do is you will uh, you'll put the bottom part on first and then you'll put the top part on and that beaver tail that we saw this beaver tail will latch on underneath and clip on securing the suit um, another important thing too is if you don't have a truck like myself having one of these is extremely helpful. Uh, they're pretty cheap and you can pick them up at Walmart. But with that being said, um, I'm also going to show you guys a video on how we sharpen our spears. So you're definitely gonna wanna have a flashlight when you're diving, whether it's to look in darker places or if you are night diving. Uh, this model that I have is the Big Blue 1300 lumen flashlight. It comes with one 18650 lithium ion rechargeable battery. It does have four modes and the modes are as shown. Now when you turn it on, it'll have blue meaning it's fully charged. Then it'll go to green and then red. But having a, a solid flashlight is definitely very useful, especially when uh, you are lobster hunting. Alright, so we are going to be self-sharpening uh, the tip of my spear. As you can see, it is not that sharp right now. So, John here, what do you got? Got a Craftsman grinder. <laughs> Nice, dude. Yeah. Woo. That's a lot cool. So yeah, as you can see, nice and sharp. 